All right, thanks for coming back to my next video. Uh, today, I'm going to try and build up or start working on uh, my kitchen wall. All right, so what I'm going to be doing is I have a bunch of these pieces already planed down. Uh, what I will need to be doing is going in and out, measuring the distance, making a line, cutting them, bringing them back out here. The reason I have to do that is uh, it's December, and right now, according to my, it's only 18 degrees outdoors, which is way too cold, and just as cold in here, about 20. I'll do all this cutting in here, but what I've done, uh, and I want to point out a mistake I made so that others don't do this in the future, and that is build your walls first. <clears throat> and the reason for that is normally your backsplash would go against the wall, Mine in this case, since it's already up and I built the wall after the fact because I had changed my mind about something, uh, there's that issue there. But it won't be any big deal. Uh, I can still place these items up, uh, these wall pieces, and then I might sand them down. Now, I am going to cut them a little bit over because I can always trim them down uh, after the fact. And then... Uh, keep going further up. Now what I'm going to do is I do have three drill guns. I have one that's going to drill the initial hole for the screw. The second one I want to countersink the screw into this and of course then the regular drill gun to put the screw in after that. Alright so this one here is still just a little bit too long so what I need to do is actually not trim this section but go in and trim this out just uh, a little bit more and then bring that back out here. Except, uh, this step to try and save some walking in and out from going in and out because it is cold outside. I measured up uh, about for four of these from the distance from back to front. So hopefully now when I preset these here, one, two, three, a little off but that's all right I think that's because of the board in behind uh, that's something I might be able to sand down while it's in here to make it a little more even now this piece here uh, will obviously need to be trimmed to fit up there now, even before I attach these all in I should be able to mark this here Mark it here. I'll need to cut that notch out to fit in place. Alright, so this is the top piece that I notched out for this corner up here. Uh, let's check that out. Alright, that's going to be a very good fit. to do is to keep this bottom section here so uh, I'm going to remake the mark up the top and then cut out this section 
right down. That X will let me know exactly what I need to cut out for this piece to get in. All right, now that I'm getting up here, I'll get to the part where I will admit is my least favorite, and that's doing angle cuts for these last few pieces. So I'll need at least this one cut out here, and then one more after that. Now, it may not be that difficult um, if you're used to doing it. It's definitely not my thing, but I'm going to do my best, and we'll see how this piece comes out. Uh, then I'll get one more piece, and I'll uh, measure out top, and we'll hopefully that one will finish this side of the wall. These last three pieces I had to kind of custom build to fit in here. So this is going to slide in like this. This piece will fit here. And then this last piece uh, I'll tap in and it's going to fit really nice and secure. So I'm going to do the, the same thing I did with these. I'm going to mark out my drill holes. Get those all set with the countersink screws and put that in place. This wall is now in place. Uh, for this top piece, I did create a template using a piece of cardboard. Uh, I deliberately cut it too big for um, for two reasons. One, uh, I did want it snug, and I didn't mind trimming it down after the fact. If it's too small, it's, I could have covered up, you know, with more trim, and I could have done a little bit better up here. Uh, but this still came out. Um, really good. I just saw I had to tap that piece into place which is uh, what I wanted to do. I will still have some work to do on the side here. This will have to be sanded down smooth. Eventually there might be some kind of door here. I don't know yet. Alright, what this is in prep for now is I will be ready to start working inside the house uh, on my shelf that will go all the way across. Uh, so I hope you liked this video. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. If nothing else, you found it educational, maybe even entertaining. So don't forget to hit that bell icon, and that way as each video posts, you will get the notification. Hey, a little add-on here. I almost forgot. What you see here now, this is the fixed piece uh, before I do the whole shelf. And I'll do over the, go over this really quick, what I did. Uh, before this piece was in here, I had a gap here, and I had just stuck pieces up over all of this and against the ceiling. So what I did is I took those bulky pieces out. This piece was one that was outside, just holding everything in place. I trimmed that down, sanded it a little bit, put it back in. So now I have a nice flat surface on this side to attach my shelf to. Mm -hmm.